Senior Superintendent of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, Ryan Ramphal, says that they are committed to dealing with both reasons for the execution of murders. Careful analysis of the data has pointed us in a direction that much of it has been related to gang activity within our division. Looking at the data and taking it apart bit by bit, we have embarked on significant exercises aimed at targeting gangs that are posing a problem to us in our division. The police have a strong response to the danger and are able to say that their policy in this area is working to make it harder for lethal weapons to stay on the streets. Most of the homicides through the statistics will reflect that they are committed with the use of firearms. As a direct result, we have embarked on a firearm retrieval exercise which has seen a 49% increase in our comparative figure from last year from 47 to 69 to date. Our exercises continue with the hope of increasing this figure to reaching our mandate of a 10% increase nationally. As for the proliferation of gangs, the superintendent of the Northern Division, Terence Naubat, said the way they are financed has given clues to bringing them down. In relation to, um, to the gangs, I will just go into one bit of information that is assisting us to infiltrate the gang. And this is how the gangs are being financed. I'll just give us a couple of the areas that they have been financed from, and such as there's a new acronym, CFH, mean criminal for hire. So they have criminals in the gang that could, you could hire if you want to eliminate someone. So the public just has to be aware of these things, how they are operating. We are aware of it, and these are how we are targeting them. The senior superintendent says that crime is transdivisional and requires the cooperation of all divisions lending support where needed, whether in networking, highway control, or crime fighting. Mary-Therese Bernard for TTT News.